This is my homemade five cylinder radial engine. It has 750 cubic centimeters, that's about 46 inches. 15 horsepower if I get it to run well. And it needs an update on the crankshaft. The master rod has to be changed, but more about that later. First, we have to take it apart.
access to the underside. oil pump So, and now we are going to remove the cover for the camshaft. camshaft. So here it is, all taken apart. Now, why am I doing this? Uh, first of all, I want to thank one of my viewers, Tim777 Yet. Please visit his channel. He has built a very nice radial engine. And he gave me some advices. So I started looking into the geometry of uh, this engine and when I made the master rod I placed the pivot points for the other cone rods evenly. We have 360 degrees around, split 5 that's 72 degrees so 
I set them evenly around. And that wasn't a good idea, I found out. So when I turn, this, this is another issue, this is too tight. So when I turn the crank 72 degrees, this piston should be on, on top, but it isn't. So now I have to make a new master rod and move the pivot points. So when I turn the crankshaft 72 degrees, I should have a straight line and this piston should be on top. And of course, this should move freely. And it's a little bit tight, so that's also a reason to take it apart. I also have a problem with uh, the compression. It's too high. Uh, a normal lawnmower uh, has about six kilos. On this one I have eight. And if you are going to start it manually with a, a string you you basically start five lawn mowers so on top of that having eight kilos of compression on all of them uh, it's not good So here it is, my fantastic master rod. Um, it's made from steel in this part because I wasn't sure if it will hold with aluminium. But I didn't want it to be too heavy, so I made the rod itself from aluminium and uh, riveted together. The two parts. Uh, now I'm going to make a new master rod and I'm going to make it all in aluminium. Uh, the pivot points who I placed 72 degrees apart that's 360 degrees divided by 5. Uh, that seemed to be a mistake. Because funny things happen. Uh, if we look at the drawing and uh, turn the crankshaft 72 degrees, we will see what happens. We can see that I want the, to be everything to be in line. The center of the crankshaft, the crank pin and uh, the pivot point and also the, the piston pin. So, and it isn't. So, I'm going to make a new one and move the pivot place. Hopefully it will be okay. And uh, when I am at it I am going to shorten the rod one millimeter because the compression was too high. And uh, so I will all also make new uh, uh, conrods, 
the four small conrods, I will make new ones as well. So, the new master rod is here. Almost finished, just a little machining to do.